Welcome to the Open Goal FC Podcast! Yeah. Yeah. We have the big man back, Kevin yeah. Kyle. Big man, we had a bust up yesterday. We're back in good terms, didn't we, Kevin? We had a massive bust up yesterday. First time in four years. Four years, mate, when it was a wee bit of miscommunication. But hey, we move on. We've got Robbie Hardy straight for Graham Spears' his knickers. What a fucking debut you made, mate. But I get a wee bit sour, didn't it, with the sort of reviews at the end of it, mate? You are outstanding as well. Listen, mate, made a wee bit of noise, but we can be there about that. We just need to stay positive and kick on, didn't we? By the way, you're like a dinosaur. If you smoke, sorry, we'll get on to the main man in a minute, but just have you have you reached it to you? Take it home. Take it home. You used to be really tight, weren't like, you? Know, we used to be. Yeah, obviously, we're no new, so no, uh, I'll keep that. Uh, our conversation private. Aye, but as just before, Robbie, I'm wanting to be me out of here, so instead of me keep on asking you, just fucking tell me. Robbie, met him in Brahe for a shite, didn't you? <laughs> no, I can't say that word now. Can't say that Scotty boy, over a thousand games in Scottish, <laughs> every league in Scotland, the main man, Scotty McLaughlin! How are you, Scotty boy, alright? Very good, very good. Happy to be here. Finally got me on slide. You've been trying to go for a while, mate, haven't you? Nah, you threatened it for a while, but. I keep really. on saying to Scotty every week, listen, I have asked, I haven't asked at all. No, I <laughs> See, to be fair, I've been looking forward to this man getting on. Me and I just spoke about it for a wee bit. This man's got a few good stories. So, so but, but the thing is, it's unbelievable here. Me and Kev have both played with him. Aye. Aye. Well, he's a character, air. that's for sure. Aye, and I was at Clyde with you, Scotty, with it. What would you, oh, seriously, just we're going to go on it, Scotty, though, right? But what would you make of us two? It's two guys, it's two teammates in the war with each other. Oh, hopeless. No, no, no. Good teammates, good teammates. Aye, I believe you. I think you're being a bit kind. Yeah, yeah if you can uh, lie, you can lie in the tear room, don't you, by the way? You've got a basket's one of them. Me and the, me oh. and the fucking uh, God rest his soul, the goalie. No, I'm here, mate. Oh, you met him there? Yeah. Yeah. What a guy, though, was the goalie, wasn't he? Aye, ah, brilliant guy, really nice guy. guy. This is unbelievable. One of my first actual times I was there, only met him, Scotty, and uh, do you remember this one in the dressing room before the game? So, sorry, the night before the training, we were training. So, I've been in shadow boxing and changing. I can't feel like fuck, hate boxing, not interested in routine, all shadow boxing. So, he's picked his head and he noticed it. But listen, that was it. We moved on. So, the next day at, at the game, he's came with a sign. What was it again? Thomas the Hitman Hearns. But he went up to, do you know Hitman Hearns? Aye, aye, aye. One of the biggest boxers of all time, aye. aye. Yep. So, he's went to a, an event. He's talking. The goalies went up to him. And go to sign all the best, Lenny. No way. Unbelievable, the one. Yeah, we touch a class, that's quite a boy. You were like, oh, that's amazing. You didn't have a clue. <laughs> 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 you never seen him be wrong, did you? <laughs> <laughs> you had a favourite boxer. We <laughs> heard it was Eddie Helms. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so <laughs> much, Andy. Thanks so much for that. Right, boys, before <laughs> we go on the show, Robbie Boy, as you know, yes. nothing happens without who knows wins. Who knows wins. Take it away, Robbie. Take it away. Yeah, it's all yeah, yeah, I'm not going to get you involved. Right, not only are we providing entertainment to the people at home, we're also making them serious. Money. No, Robbie, I'll keep ah, it away from you. So, after the, uh, the <laughs> so, stick shot with a name. So, the winner of last week, Scotty Boy, his name is Arsadamic72. <laughs> so, Arsadamic72 took, took home five and a half grand. And the Scottish picked 10 league by getting 9 out of 10 results correct. That's Unbelievable. Well and as always, you don't need to get all the um, picks right, no. Robbie, as you know. You do not. 9 out of 10, he still walks away with money. Thank Fucking God, you know, because I've got no chance of getting 10 out of 10. If you fancy it. your chances to win big cash, download the Who Knows Win app and take part in the Scottish Pick 10 league, where there'll be another 10k prize pot with runners. Up oh, prizes included. A wee few starters there. Right. 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 Last week, Kev, you got five out of ten. Dale got four. That's why that man will never be back in this show. Nah, it was absolutely. This has been the best lineup, I'd say. It's been, been a great podcast. start as well. Dale was an embarrassment last week, wasn't he? What was your like before it? I know. How weird was he been? He <laughs> goes all serious, Scott. Do you know Dale? Aye, aye, aye. Aye, embarrassment. So. No, he's a brilliant guy. But what about one right away? His first lines. He's talking about. He says he's from Fafton. He's from Fafton. Not good enough for my show. Hey, back to the fam, take a week to talk. I have standards in my show, so you'll be back. Robbie Boy, horrific for you, 4 out of 10, mate. But good shout, saying that uh, Celtic will go out with Kelly. Five not eight. Five not. I'm just kidding. I get seven. I get seven. I had three on a Saturday night, so that made up to a ten. Oh, can you imagine? Last night, you saying all that. <laughs> yeah, here we go, right, lads. Wanted to make a series things, obviously, the, the match on Sunday. Robbie boy, I seen you what about half time with a pine cup, could not believe that. <laughs> oh, Didn't yeah, you want to catch your eye because we, we started laughing whatever. But listen, disappointing match, Robbie, what did you make it? Aye. Listen, obviously, last week was a lot easier to talk about the game given the fact that 2-0 did him come back 3-2, but all seriousness, obviously, really disappointing. Uh, I think, as you have said previously, as a coaching team, uh, between yourself, Dale and Si, that 
he could probably accept losing games, but it wasn't that man. I was obviously no. really disappointing. If you look at our two, two defeats, East Kilbride, really good game of football, but it could have went either way. Civil service throwers obviously started the game well, uh, probably lost their way a wee bit uh, in the middle and then the second half, but I think probably in the entirety it wasn't, wasn't a great game. I think obviously the sending offs had a big, big impact, but I think that you can only control kind of your own performance mm-hmm. and I don't think we reacted to it with that either. No, definitely. Obviously, listen, you can't go away from I know Card will change the game or whatever, but still the, the sort of the basics of the game, Aye. tackling, being physical stuff, that wasn't there. And where it has been, um, no enough shots. No, but sometimes you get games like, and it is, listen, it's early on, but listen, we'll keep on. See what you're saying about after Boswell, well, that's probably been the one thing for me watching, as I said, been at a few games, watched every game back. That's probably been the one thing that's been so impressive about the minute. Like that, their energy, the energy, yeah. the intensity on the ball, the energy off it, how they react to losing it's been absolutely brilliant. But I think obviously if the boys have been honest with themselves, it wasn't quite there. There's a lot of chances for counter attacks and stuff like that, which is probably due to not reacting too well losing the ball. So I think that as we said last week, nobody thought it was going to be be playing sailing, going to be easy. You're, you're going to get bumps and bruises. So they reacted about going two 0 down. Uh, against Berwick to come back 3-2 so it'll be interesting to see how they react to this I've no doubt it'll be really good you intimidate, uh, intimidate me when you speak to I me I think so really that's good a good trait in a coach but isn't uh, it? it's really good uh, you, I've been you trying to work me. on that the summer you were obviously in the, the commentary box big man how did you make it? normally we start very well mm-hmm. we started alright in terms mm-hmm. of keeping the ball but didn't really hurt them in mm-hmm. any way didn't really get in behind or and I feel like in the games that we've struggled several strollers uni and a bit of Berwick in the first half, they sit in and they get their two banks of four and sometimes we're a wee bit <coughs> too obvious sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe move the ball a wee bit quicker and move their personnel out of position to try and get in gaps. And I think Saturday, Sunday, sorry, because we didn't start well, we never really got into the game and then they got their goal. Um, four minutes or something, aye, first one. Aye, whatever it was, it was like a, a, a ricochet off, I think it was the, the left-back cookie, aye. played into the path of striker, and obviously I think Kirk's maybe possibly got to come across a bit quicker, mm-hmm. um, and then the, the sending off, I think I tweeted to say, didn't they make an impact, because at that time we looked really, really flat, I didn't see how we were going to get in the game, and then aye. they've got the second goal and the impact, <laughs> the, 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 the sending off basically just ends the tie, um, and then looking back at after 90 minutes, I'm thinking, Brimhill probably still had the majority of possession of the ball, the 10, 10 men, yep, probably 10 had men. maybe 60-40%, but just couldn't they find an opening, couldn't they get a break, whereas if you look at their goals back, goalkeeper had a wee bit of howler, the first one, he's tried to pass it to the winger, Cookie's tried to intercept it, he's ended up putting the striker yeah. through, them's the kind of breaks that you need sometimes to make it go your way and then you kick on from there, whereas we didn't get a break, and whether the boys, I'm not saying the boys were tired, because if you think about the last four or five weeks, it's been Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, mm-hmm. constant. Mm-hmm. It's going to catch up at some point. Yeah. That pitch was huge. It's a great Aye, Sunday. Good great surface. Aye. Great surface. 25, 26 degrees. Mm-hmm. I know it's the same for both teams, but the uni boys are in training every day. Every day. They? they probably get a different level of fitness mm-hmm. and they were very compact and they are basically probably hope, let Broomhill come on to us and if we can catch him on the counter, that's what we'll do. And that's what they did. Yeah. And obviously spoke to Simon afterwards in the interview about like, catch on the counter and he says that's something to look at and I'm sure you as a coaching team will look at it. But I don't think there's anything to, to, to worry about. I think it's just a case of yeah, seven games in. Six. Six games in, three wins, three defeats. Mm-hmm. It's not as if the team at the top was running away with the league. It's no. a long way to go and I think Simon's obviously looking at mm-hmm. all our options and personnel and seeing what's available to them. And, and And that's what it might take. It might just take a different, a fresh face or something to come in or something to happen that gives the boys a wee bit of confidence and they kick on again because uh, they played some of the best teams in the league in terms of East Cabride, who I thought were really good yeah, I guess and they. matched them more than matched them mm-hmm. and could easily have come away with that with three points so the, 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 the potential's there mm-hmm. it's just a case of finding the balance we're either there we're there and we're in between but the now like obviously I think Saturday's a good game with the Glen Ross in the Cup I think that's a distraction from the league and it's a good opportunity to try and regroup and go again. Now, and you, you often say it before, like you're saying about how the fact that the first goal was quickly maybe deflecting it, the second one was obviously, eh, sorry, with the sending off, it's him making the recover for a ball over the top. You say all the time, making defenders defend, you'll, they'll, they'll make mistakes at this level. And I think probably on reflection, that's what you'll probably be mm-hmm. most disappointed as a team that yep. probably limited shots on target, limited sort of clear chances, no too many balls in the box. I think if you looked at Last week's game with Berwick, one of the things that uh, we spoke about was 
the, the two midfielders in front of the sitter this last week was Matty and Aiden I think mm-hmm. and I think we were saying on the podcast last week on the right hand side Matty was, was able to get really high make three nah, V2s in the wide area yep. and that was causing problems <clears throat> and to be fair no speaking at a turn here because I'd spoke about it to Cy but probably one of that could have been better especially when it's Alan Villa was the two centre mids probably still needed a wee bit higher to try and play him behind them because they sat in really well and to be fair they were really well organised made it difficult yeah. but I think you're going to come up against that, so you need to try and find sort of solutions. It's, it's, it's their game plan. They, they were there to sit in and hope to catch you on the break somehow. First goal is a, a, a deflection that puts the striker in. Second goal is a goalkeeper making a mistake. Mm. And the next two goals is one's a free kick off the ball, didn't it that well the, the second phase. And the fourth one, um, Gary Fraser's got caught in the middle of the field. All goals that are very easily avoidable. Yeah. So it's not as if you've said, well, they've played some unbelievable football and cut us open, because they haven't. Mm. It's just individual errors in moments in the game that are cautioning at the minute, and that's, that's something that can be easily ironed out. It's just being more concentrated, being more disciplined the ball, and having a better decision-making. Uh, I, I will say, how good's the free kick takers in this league, by the way? Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> fair, I, I played against Stirling Uni when I played in the long well, They're a good sports club, but they're a good, they're a good team. Uh, mm-hmm. they all, they're always well coached and that. They're always fit as fuck. Like, uh, get after you. Because right I think when people hear university... Ah, they, they just think, think oh it's just we guys ah, they presume there's a the, the, the Chad Hogan's calls. from America turning up and they've just come out and they're like I think if somebody had said to me that one of the players was had just been released by West Ham would that be right? is that right aye but he was in the West Ham quite a lot of their boys but have went into playing the leagues and that now I think the boy went to party the boy went to Montrose boys went to Elgin and that so they're good players the number 10 could go into a league Aye. The number 10, the right, we've scored the fourth goal. Well, he could go into a league in the ball. 10, 8 and 9. And the eight, big boy Jarvis. was Ray, I think. Ray. Uh, I think he scored a couple, he was good. 9, uh, uh, I actually think he used to be at BSC. Uh, he was at Thistle before that. I thought he worked his socks off right. and caused a lot of problems. So listen, you need to get him credit. Aye, the, man, the man has been there uh, for quite a few Aye. years. He's obviously getting new boys all the time, but he does his stuff. I, yep. I no, I like him. Their, their 20s won the league like last year as well, oh, and I think it, he might take the 20s as well. I think he as well. So I saw Again, don't coach. take it in your own direction. Let me direct the show. <laughs> <laughs> so Scotty Boy, obviously, what did you make of the overall league when you played? Was it three years ago, Scotty, you played there? Uh, aye, three or four years ago. I thought it was a decent standard, aye. Was it, is it genuinely there's a big, a massive gap between that and, say, League 2 or League 1? Uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so. Like, I'd say the top teams, like Eurisco Brides and all that at the time, mm-hmm. uh, we were a decent, we started off well with Edu and then we kind of fell away. It was four or five who were a decent standard and probably about League, foot, league football and you could go in and, and do well mm-hmm. brilliant and then obviously the main man Robbie your first game in charge Friday night how'd it go mate? good mate obviously but he went a game 2-1 which was really good I think but that was probably f- first game can can throw up a, bit of, a wee bit of nerves and, and things like that but it'd be totally honest in, terms, in comparison to how we'd performed in pre-season it probably wasn't one of our best performances uh, but I suppose it's again similar to Stalin you probably want to give Bonner a wee bit of credit for that they were Again, I'm not saying this is a, a negative whatsoever. They were a physical team, uh, went quite direct, which I was actually quite glad I could see, see young players now. They, they probably don't experience that, especially like our defenders have came for. I've I had a couple of them at, at Thistle, another boy was at St. Mon previously. See, pro youth football, a lot of them Aye. don't deal with it. So, see, when you do come up against it, they, they can struggle sometimes. I do think our boys stood up to it well, but I was actually quite glad for them to get that sort of experience here and out with it. I say it was one of them. See, see on reflection, we were probably between me and Andy. We were probably a wee bit critical on them, uh, given. But I think that's just a result of how they've performed. As I keep saying to them, I'll never apologise for holding you at a high standard because you're the one that set it. Aye. So you're the one that set that standard oh, yeah. for how you've played and trained in pre-season. A great season. So yeah, like that. Oh, again, I thought of that again last time. Great school. 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 Great <laughs> right, Robbie, what have you got this week? Uh, so this week we've got Cumberland Colts at uh, Tony Glenn and to be fair that, that will be a good game because they are 2004 won the Scottish Cup last year oh, won the Scottish Cup won the league there, no, I don't think so that was there right. <laughs> that was the scouting them, right? <laughs> uh, they won the, won the Scottish Cup won the league won the league cup that's the way to watch them but we to watch their 18th last year and their 20s last year uh, really good side I, I actually don't think they, won, I don't think they lost a game so I thought it would be a big test for Solent Fault, didn't it? Amazing. Right, boys, thanks very much for the start. The main man, Scotty. Scotty, we first met at Air United, mate. What was your first impressions, genuinely, of me? 
We first met you. Did you we know him before you were old? We first met you, run it, Scotty. Aye, when we first met you, aye, well, obviously we knew the stories, you know that. He was an absolute mouse, never spoke to him. Ah, see, this is what I've been hearing. Now it's in terms of all right. See, when I go to new places, all right, sometimes it's got to be when I went to Albion, so I haven't been to Albion Rovers. <laughs> First day in, manager comes in, Robbie. She <laughs> what he does, she did. That's how he got for him. He said to him, boys, not that, listen, sit down, not when I'm walking about. So that's where I take it bit of air. Sometimes I just, I don't want to get involved, I just have a look, do you know what I mean? But Scotty, when I was there the first few weeks, I was an embarrassment. I never really spoke, you hung about with me, Pedro, didn't you? Some boy, Barney. Who, Pedro? No, I can't stand him. He was on the bus, we were going to, we were playing Breaking Away, remember? Playing Breaking Away. Playing Breaking Away, and Steve sitting down the front, no one to talk to him, didn't So I stood up, I was like, right, Slaney, enough's enough, you've no spoke since you've came here. Get her off the back of this bus and tell us about what happened to Amsterdam. He's like, oh, nothing, 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 nothing. Not you Twitter. Aye. Mate, I was all over the place. But we brought you out your shell, didn't we? We brought you out your shell. And then what happened was, Robbie, though, in Cave, we, the air had won four games, first of all, four games in the league, for four, 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 four <laughs> games in the league. Uh, four for every four. <laughs> and then I came in, and we didn't win a game. Aye. The whole time aye, I was here, so didn't imagine. Rightly so, by the way. Aye, you Matt Robbins are embarrassed for me. Scott, you were really tight to Marco, you were a player with him as well, weren't you? Aye, I played him. Brilliant player. He was wild, though, wasn't he? Very, very good. And aye, he was wild, would say it at night, and some laugh. Marco. Have you been a wee bit used to it for a wee bit of bad blood on No, we didn't. He was always a, he was, no, he he was, was a, a bit of a, he was, <laughs> he was a bit of a, an experienced player just like I was, but I was coming, my, my problem was I was coming to the end of my career. And I fucking Jealous. Hate, I, no, I hated it. <laughs> Maybe he flung the milk that day when he bounced to your foot, staying away, and he launched the milk. Who was it, Marco? That was Marco, eh? Staying away, he chucked at me. <laughs> he just chucked at <laughs> the <laughs> And he bounced off that shite in the milk. You like, went fucking out. How the fuck were you then? He fucking, that was right, that was the first ever game I played. Milk game. <laughs> He fucking came, I, I chopped him up down and it fucking exploded out. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so, By the way, to be fair, he kind of was like, oh no, I probably should have done that. But didn't you want it back, didn't you, didn't you? Know? No, but it, it, listen, and, and he had his opinion and I had my opinion and it just got to a point where... But he's didn't really follow it. No, it? we didn't. I just, I just got frustrated because... Played full time football your whole life. Aye. And then I'm fucking rocking up to air on a Tuesday night. And then a Thursday night. It was a lot of fun. for us. The Biffy's got Empire Biscuits. You know, it's a fucking. Yeah, I, mean, I thought I'd be on your steak. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Empire Biscuits. An Empire Biscuit is not a cake. No. Because you used to get cake. What's right? fucking cake ever? <laughs> yeah. No joke. Kevin used to put it down on, on the table. It's disgusting. Smash it, Sean. Hated it. Cake smash. That's how they wanted to eat with new bones and that, didn't they? The cake smash. Just, I honestly couldn't. I couldn't get like myself motivated. I just was realising that my time in football nah, was up. coming to an end, and they're still trying to like, fuck because their careers are still want to go, and I'm want to go the other way. And some weeks you play two or three games, day well. Other weeks you. Two what or age three were you then? Thirty-three. I am to you at fucking twenty-one. Then <laughs> absolutely <laughs> dog shite. And then I am to the season ever. I mean, one of the games. <laughs> I said so before, me, yeah. One of the games. He said to me, "But two, I was on the bench two minutes ago." He says, "Kev, get warmed up." You're going. I says, "Fuck off." I says, I'm 33 years old. I says, you're not putting me on for two minutes. I says, I just me, me Alan Forbes is on the bench. I mm. says, Alan, put him on, Gaffer, get him out of the experience. Uh, well, you know what, I go on. I said, oh, fucking what benefits putting me on for two minutes to go? No, I never really said it. Mm. It was good to see in the tea room. We had a good laugh, didn't we? Well, we did have a good laugh. Me, Kerzo, obviously, you know Kerzo. Yeah, the kit man. He's, he's probably worthwhile getting on here, I think so. Aye. Nah, he was good. He played, do you know, he played. He's playing he junior. Played and he's in, he's in the Glen Afton now, isn't he? He's in the Glen Afton. He could be my next guest because he would do some unbelievable stories. Yeah, he played with McCoy's stuff. And he could tell us about the night that he kicked the bin. Oh, my. I remember that. Remember Andy Mullen on when he came out to Andy, what a guy. But have you ever seen Andy Mullen eat crisps? By the way, he smashes them up, smashes them up in a wee tiny pieces, takes his teeth out and then he starts. Aye. Well, should get every empire basket right Because he's got full teeth, he crunches like them that. up and then he takes the teeth out and it's like fucking... Just dead. He's a man. smoothie. But, I mean, I'm just going to break his crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, obviously, the next season, one of the greatest strikers in history came to the air. He's going to beat a boy, beat him. <laughs> what a man, man, he's going. What a man, he was. See, he beats. Like, nice guy, really nice guy, but you still like his fingers or anything? Random. <laughs> like, do you know that? Scotty, the best man, but I'll never forget it. He's played a 70 yard diagonal, right? So, beats his half side. She's like, sorry, Scotty. And he's got gloves on. He did that. Which <laughs> 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 boy, boy, we also played at Clyde together, and our manager Barry Ferguson, psychopath, oh, isn't he? What a guy! 
<laughs> ah, he was mental. He was bonkers. <laughs> Some of his shouts were legendary. But do you remember the one with Big Junior in the uh, at half time, wasn't it? <laughs> I yeah, remember. So Big Junior gave away a free kick, right? And who's this Junior? Who? Big Chris Smith. No Big Chris Smith. No. Right, so remember Big Chris Smith? Big centre and half left far. He called Junior because he looked like Bonner Brown. Right. Right. Good right. little boy, yeah. Right. Mr. Hanson. <laughs> right, so, so, then, so he gave away a free kick. Steen Pearson. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gave away a free kick. Maybe eventually scored for it. So, see that line, Big Junior's can tapes and then he'd done. And Big Bob's first said to him, Junior, talk me, talk me through that, that goal. Right, so he's went to speak. Fair to smack him. Shut the fuck up, you fat piece of shit. Just tell me what he's in the arm. Just fucking ruthless. Spin, he spoke, yeah. But as if he was trying to get his excuse in, right? But he wasn't even bold with asked him. He was going to answer. He was going to answer. He just killed him, didn't he? Yeah, he was speaking, didn't he? He's probably going to take the way for it and he's just absolutely killed him. Aye. But was it? To be fair, though, his training was brilliant. His training was different class. Training was as good a training you got. Why do you think it's no really shot a work for him? He's no managing at all. He's got really, really high standards. You know what he's like. He's like so demanding. He's like, I mean, there was a boy, there was a boy in his first night in a shooting drill, mm-hmm. and he was like, see that way, he passed it in, he lit off. Uh-huh. He just, he passed it in fair, he was about to do it. He passed it in fair, he never had it hard enough into him and I just died in so he's like fuck I was like back at you get the fuck <laughs> <laughs> just things like that man. the boys just couldn't take it do you think he is an example of somebody who probably would be more suited to the higher level being a manager 100% see, uh, see so if really, he was like a coach at Rangers or something like that they would react to him uh, and go right uh, he's got really really high standards Yeah. whereas I think you should react to it even at low level because uh, you want to get to that I level like better, right? Um, to be fair, I'm on your I was fucking hopeless at Clyde. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he just did really, really high standards and people just couldn't handle the demands he was putting on them. Do you know what I mean? See, on that, on that like, I had that same experience when I was 20 years old playing for Scotland. Mm-hmm. And Fergie's fucking set up the team and I'm up front. Fergie and Paul Lambert in the middle and we play on the Faroe Islands away. Aye. And we're 2-0 down. And they two <laughs> come into the dressing room and I'm like... But you just kind of like fucking like, keep back at it. I need to love if you're fucking dull. And the two of them went for it, and like you just felt that pressure. Do you think that at Clyde we use guys that he like most of the players maybe crumbled under the pressure aye. of him? Being... I mean, just, I I blew that struggle with it. They did. They just couldn't. They just couldn't handle. It. I I liked him. Like I quite liked it. He was mm-hmm. like a couple of times he went. He would he would shout at me right, <clears> and I would just give him that one kind of no look and give him the thumbs up. Uh, so he was like fuck. And he used to say things like. I just didn't even bother with you anyway. I said, could you just give me that? I was like, I can hear you shouting. I said, but I just know you're going mental, so I just give you a thumbs up. Because there's other boys we go and turn around and blah. Just, nah, it's because it's totally you, you obviously know being at that level, you, you're the experience at early. A lot of boys probably, aren't they quite at full-time level because they maybe don't have the mentality to deal with stuff yeah. like that? So that probably is how he was not suited to it. See, a lot of times, so if he was getting boys a bit of stick, in a way, he kind of wanted a reaction at those Aye. to kind of go from... Mm-hmm. I know Andy really liked him I remember when he was at Blackpool I'd asked about him because obviously growing up he's, he's my hero growing up do you know what I mean so I mind when Andy went to play with him I was absolutely buzzing I used to ask all the time like, how is he's a manager and to be fair I mind, I mind he says I really like him he says but he's fucking mental Aye. he says and probably probably like kill Andy saying that's but he's like I think he's really good but probably for him to get better he needs to learn how to mm-hmm. he needs to know how to deal with other people yeah. he says because he's on everybody he says right sir myself I want to say brothers it was another, I cut other Scottish boys anyway. He says, We all really liked him, he reacted it well. He said, But I cut a boy, he's just called up the rain asking anything. Which is okay. probably, see, because, because of who he is, it's not just, no, it's not just the shit, it's, it's, it's fucking Barry Ferris. It's only now captain. we've done this podcast and we've got to speak to him out with his football career. You realise that he never did it because he didn't like you. Uh, no, he didn't. He did it just because he was trying to help you, but he just had so high a standard because uh, he, uh, he like let's not beat about the bush Barry Ferguson is probably one of the best players uh, Scotland's produced uh, he's the be- best I've seen at Rangers he's, he's, he's amazing but just fucking hell man he mm. was so fear if he had maybe Derek's humour in Barry's <laughs> body uh, it might work out a uh, bit they are, they're, they're so different oh, aren't they uh, I, 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 I mean I'm choking to meet Derek first and I don't know no I'm choking to meet he's the best he seems like an absolute legend I went to him in the schools years ago him and big Jerry Britton and just some they love Jerry Britton doesn't stick to him see one time right we went we went into a school today football coaching right and they didn't have any buzz about that by the way we've not got the gym today we're actually going to do drama and 
Det er ikke klart. Har du tjort hinanden? Det er ikke klart, at vi har fået den her strama, når vi har det. Det er jo ikke. Jeg har meget godt snakket i kredit. Så bare han tog det bare det færdige sender, og vi fik bare det færdige sender i kantinen. Så det er ikke sær. Vi skal have noget, der er det ikke. Så det er ikke vores børn, vi har ikke gødt løgnet. Så jeg har brugt kvinde, og jeg har fucking... See, like guys like Barry Ferguson would be right on players. Now, did you ever play with anybody that would put? You've seen crazy like scheme players and maybe put you in your shell while you've seen boys struggle with that. Speedy, what? Have I seen boys struggle with? It? Or, or even players you've played with? Is it why does it stick out that well, they're nuts? Do you get that? Do you get this? Like obviously. You, you're playing junior I'd football. Say aye, aye. Do you have that junior football? Aye. Still that experienced guy who puts demands on kids? So, like, there has to be. So my, my first junior team, uh, the first match I first signed for team, Dorai. So basically, our full team was all like 17, 18, 19 year olds, apart from a nucleus of maybe four or five experienced guys. But these guys had been like top level junior football. So it's a guy, uh, Brian Slaven and Gav Friels. So Slaven had played, like, he was captain of Talbot for like eight years, won like five Scottish Cups. Gav Friels was like, do you know Gav Friels? Like, Trinar, Ill United, other men, so pop stuff. Two of them, tell you what, you wouldn't say that to him. Two of them, mate. What a word. Two of them were mental. Uh-huh. Like genuinely mental, but they seen that as a because we were all young boys, they just couldn't take the fact that we kind of were still that amateur and stuff like that. But it was a good, good learning because you they did not like you fuck about. We thought coming out of junior football, like mm-hmm. see if you watch like the yeah, Scottish Junior Cup final on telly, how bad does it look? I remember before I signed and we all watched them, like Talk how bad the standard here, mm-hmm. and then you play and you realize it's a lot better. So we came into it probably a wee bit naive to how hard it had been. They kind of said, Ah, that's the thing. But see, see, like, the young players come through, they won't be as good as the experienced players because they'll help them and, ah, and yeah. teach them how to. How to why did they match the fatty butter one of the players? Who? Why did they see one of the guys I mentioned? Do you remember training session? When I was 18, he started battering. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Honestly, mate, so we're training, and, uh, it's like Tuesday night, and again, we're probably. Young boys, but we're all mates. We're used to like being quite relaxed at like, some training sessions, and I mind we're playing like a 7v7 game, and it was like the goalie and one of all the players just had a hang. Every time we go out, they was trying to ping it to the winger, and he and uh, the guy was in the goalie's team. He's like, "Stop fucking pinging the ball!" He's like, "Do it properly." Sure enough, next time he gets the ball, pings it, and he's like, "I've fucking had enough of you." He's like, "Stop fucking pinging the ball!" And he just went like, oh, "Fuck up or something," and he was like, "What?" Honestly, mate, I've never seen a guy look so angry. Mate, he just started. Sprinting towards him, mate. And like three years, oh, I put on the back. So my pals are going, started whipping his gloves off. I go with him. I was like, mate, do not try and go with this guy because he's an oh, absolute nutjob. Remember that one with uh, the Fernland? We forest on that beats. I was like, damn, fuck off. Ah, yeah, I just yeah. started marching towards him. Then that is. But I probably he's going to not. I probably gloves it first. Then he put his gloves on. <laughs> 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 Actually, what makes me so? I just see that guy's a character, isn't he? What a guy, aye. Kev, I'm sorry, I just want to um, see, because I know you've been here for years, Kev, I don't want to throw you under the bus by throw, putting you in the spot. Then. But was there any place you maybe not mentioned that at Sunderland or come up, whatever it was, that you struggled to play with the slaughter or whatever it was? Oh, that yeah, was a long question. No, right? that's a good, <laughs> it, it is a, it's a good question. Um, I mean, Nobody was ever that obvious. Were like, you like? Were you like a bit? Was he Scott? Was it an air? Were you quite? No, I would never. Voice? S- no, I would. I don't mean that way, but just no. the gift boys a bit. Well, I'm good. I'm really scared to see him a bit. I don't. If, I don't. I think if you, I think in, in any generation, see if you didn't speak up, you'll be that guy that sits in the corner for forever. Aye. you've got to have your opinion. <laughs> no, no. I was a bit like that. But I was quite. <laughs> ah, we, we, we would argue all the time. Aye. Good. But, but, but for, for the benefit of whatever Aye. we were doing, whether we training or whatever. Because I remember we used to hear, like, at the end of the, every night we'd hear a game, and it was always like, you and Marco were always in the same fucking team. Aye. And I was always parked, it was every day, every day. I was always <laughs> parked in with all the young boys, and I was used to gather around and say, like, see these fucking two, these two are like, he's fucking talking about you. They fucking hammer them, <laughs> and they never ever did. Aye, but we tried. We tried, and, but it, nah, in terms of, like, players that, when, when I was younger, nah, they... I, I, when I went to Sunderland, I wasn't probably the most fucking gifted footballer. I, I, I was late to the game and everyone else and, and people ridiculed me, but that only fucking strengthened my ambition to be a footballer. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, cause yeah, I rocked up my pair of fucking... Oh, I did. I rocked up my pair of size fucking 13 rugby boots because I couldn't get boots to fit <laughs> no, but see, man, I'll say boots one day. Size 40, man. One thing I would always <laughs> say about you, <laughs> I see like you were... You, you're hiding. You were brilliant in there. 
Now some people who are they don't actually use a height. You were double aggressive in there, weren't you? I loved it. But I just <laughs> loved, it. I loved, I loved getting hot. I don't know why. <laughs> but like back to Sunderland, they, they boys would take my boots off the peg and stick them on and run it in train and take the piss and add new boots to get nice and sit there and think. So fucking assholes. How, what did you do? Did you walk out with his open chest? I just, I just, I mean, I remember how it was Michael Porter, and I remember his grandma saying, Pro, you come here. I said, Do that again. I said, I swear to God, I fucking ripped you out right off your shoulders. Did you? And he never did it again. I stood up for myself. No, I was fucking, my heart was fucking racing, saying it to him. And then eventually, because he, that spurred me to work harder. Brilliant. And I worked hard. And then I was, all the boys that took the piss. I was the only one that ever got I the first team, and I thought, fuck you, fuck you. How did you deal with a, but, a Jai for teammates? How did they actually you know where I was? I don't remember, you know, my wee back sometimes, and he would just, <laughs> he would pick on something he didn't do, like, ah, you, you just gave the ball away two minutes ago. You kicked up. Scott, why is it? just came out of my head. I don't want to keep back to him, he's a great guy. Get a great head of hair, he's a great, an unbelievable guy, Scott. I don't I keep him out as I said there. One of the best sights I've seen at the training was when you played the ball in the corner to beats. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't holding the ball, but he's got it. But it was there in the aftermath. <laughs> when I was like, I said, Oh my god, just stop passing it. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember it? That's the worst. No, man. right, after the game, right, he was raging. To be fair, Beach now he's had a shite of that. Right? That translation, right? So he was fuming, fuming. But he's tapa, he jumped in his motor. <laughs> Don't fear me, just he's tapa. What drove him, he's tapa? He's tapa, right, back to the training run. <laughs> so I was going back, I was going back, me and Slaney, I was talking, just bounce after the, the bus, you know what I mean? But he's kicks open the front door. <laughs> Still with his, his tap up, but he, he got his trackies on. Tap on his shoulder, jumped back in his motor, drove him. Like, I was like, Can you let him be? <laughs> Just put a blood mist. Oh, 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 Right, you Scotty know, boy, you can't have you on, obviously, one of your best mates in football, Robert Snodgrass, he's played at Livingston together, yeah. young boys together, and you actually took him out, did he come and stay in your house with you? I stayed with me for three months. And at that time, and obviously I was younger, but you grew up, people were saying when, when Snoddy was young or whatever, had a shocking attitude, he went out all the time, that wasn't he? No, that was a lot of shit. He, he was just a young boy who was in the limelight like, because he was near enough in the first team, so people started... Making things up about him, like mm-hmm. you know, Scotch mm-hmm. mentality, try and bring you down because yeah. he sees somebody getting a wee bit of success. But it wasn't like that, it was just like it was, it wasn't, it wasn't the best pro at that time, but he didn't know any different. He yeah, was just exactly. a young boy who'd been flung into it, right. and just needed somebody to kind of speak and to him. He broke into a lovely first team very young, didn't he? I, I'm sure, I, I'm sure I was at a game, I'm sure I was at a game at Allen, Allenville against Rangers and they'd scored, and I'm sure him and Dolan's were playing. I don't know if you were there about that time, but probably would have been about 2003, four. That's I was there, like, there so when they came in like 16, 17, let's like, say, and everybody was talking about his attitudes, his attitudes shocking, and he's, he's turned up drunk to train, which I never did. Ham. Denny Ham, I said. He's a young boy, he's, don't get me wrong, his time keeping was terrible, I see come up, right? And he would just, he'd be like, I'm five minutes away, he would just be waiting for uh, half an hour. See, I'm sorry, Robbie. Uh, no, I was just, we actually spoke about it recently, didn't we? See, see now, we, we're like academy football and stuff, obviously he was involved in it for a few years. A lot of coaches and a lot of clubs don't like boys like that who are probably just a wee bit gallus, a wee bit confident. They're not, they're not bad boys, but they're just, no. they're, they're maybe came from a different sort Why of background to others. What do you think? What do you think? I, I think is. if you, personally, I think they're threatened by it because sometimes these boys are maybe harder to control, harder to coach, right. but. See if you can get, you get a junior, no, if you can get a junior, mate, they're the best ones to play right. for you because they can take a jag. Skin boy, do aye, aye. proper throwback. Bit of gallus, I suppose. Aye, aye, just did a bit about yourself. And the one that was brilliant on his, his attitude was Stevie Woods came and spoke to him. <laughs> <That's brilliant. laughs> to be fair, right, I'm saying, staying up for a minute, this is a good story. <laughs> so, he's at, so he was trying his best to get his diet better, Matt. So he's talking to, he's talking to Stevie Woods, <clears throat> and Woods is like, listen, you need to try and get as much uh, like protein in your body and eat more veg and actually snod he's probably taking all in and at that time when he was your first team goalie coach but he used to go to uh, Barrafield for say like like under 15s at the time so when he said he was driving out the train and he sees your boy sees a boy just walking down the street so he's just snodding snodding so just bounced at KFC he's got the, he's got the bag of KFC so that way he waved to something he puts the bag on <laughs> which is like that either. which is like oh my oh, god I just flat, to a day. but that was just he didn't know any better nah, that's like just... he came, see when he came and stayed with me I kind of taught him how to cook and things like that and just trying to live his life a wee bit better uh, and when he was in your house he's 
just pranked every single person in the world. Just that he must be around and just pranked the world. And what's he he's done? He's done. Um, it's not his uncle, didn't he? Ah, that was <laughs> <laughs> that was that was so random. Right, we used to play fives at White Hill, White Hill School. And his uncle used to come. We used to play, uh, and it was this wee guy. It was like, by quiet as a mouse. This wee guy called Robert. His name was never never spoke. Just turned up. So we phoned up. So his uncle. Uh, uh, all right, how's it going? Shuggy, it's, it's Robbie here. He's like, aye, what is it you want? Just to let you know, you're not coming back to the fives anymore. <laughs> you're pish, you're pish. He's like, ha, 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 I will be there. He's like, no, you're not coming. You're fucking hopeless. He's like, ha, 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 I will be coming, Sam. I said, I'm coming to your fucking door now and I'll make sure you're not coming. His uncle's like, aye, just you fucking, he says, just you come to my door, I'll be waiting for a fucking hat chip. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, and me and these new Lennon match in my motor. So we saw the we saw the put the put them on, he put the headdress in my motor, went up to his door, started behind his window, <laughs> slipping out his light to you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh that's class. Cool. Matt Brown says that like literally and it, obviously he was being stolen for a bit of he's like honestly every time you're away we just prank you people just random by the way you just be sitting there and then the phone me boy I remember the boy we played with Scott Finlay honestly we gave him the best prank oh mate my brother says that's your best by the way we pranked him for so long we just kept on <laughs> phoning him right he was desperate to try and get something sorted so we said we were a fat boy we were organising a big fight night right so he's like, listen, we want you as a... We, we asked him if he wanted P. Diddy to sign his wedding and I was like, oh, yeah, I've got some book, that would have been great. Okay, but anyway, we said there was this big fight night. We said, hey, we'll start this. There's a big fight night. He says, Mike Tyson's going to be there. Frank Bruno's going to be there. We want you there. So he said, no like, way, man. No he's no bought that, surely. By the way, hook, line, sinker. So he's like, listen, would you like to come to the fight night? Uh, and meet us just like and just wanted to just say to him do you want to meet Frank Bruno <laughs> right do you want to meet Frank Bruno <laughs> Scott Finley's like well, I would love to meet you so I'll just say to him alright yeah, then I'll just tell Big Frank to stay in the sense <laughs> <laughs> how are boys fall by his arm oh, man, it's easy to do bro it's easy to do it was unbelievable what it like me and him used to just sit for ages and we just like whisper what he used to say and like he's he, getting down yeah, Scotty sorry Oh, Jake, he would plan so things like this, or Jake would just be half a cough, or Jake, he'd be like any spare time thinking about how can I prank somebody next? No, we used to get, we used to just see, see like any wee weakness we would hear or something happening. How do you register it and I go, it's not right, we should phone him today. Boys, this is, it's nah, this been is said, rude. that's been, that's kind of been said as so well. I'll eat that look for a weakness in somebody, I mean, you, on it. We, we, we phoned a wee guy that I played weird for it, right, and he won, he won the Iron Brew, it was like the Iron Brew sponsor. With one player, player of the the division. Right. So I had phone. I was like, by the way, phone this wee guy and tell him he's won a year supply of handbook. Like, he'll be all over it. So he's phoned up. He's like, listen, just to let you know, when you come today for your trophy, you've got your year supply of handbook. You know what? He's like, I can't believe that. <laughs> he's like, ah, he says, ah, I actually can't make it. And he's like, no, you need to come the new. He says, oh, but no. it's gone. He's like, he's like, to me, he's like. He's like because the boy was in the motor as well, so he was on the phone. Why is it? He's like, he says, oh, oh so you were with the boy that started the phone? Oh, my God, that's even better. He's like, why do you have to go up behind him? I was like, why don't you get up the road? I can't. Right? <laughs> so he's like, I'm on the phone. So he's like, um, I'm just coming here to train you. I'll just phone my dad and see if he can take me. Oh. <laughs> so he says to him, all right, and you phone that wank. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but the wee boy, Chris, he's like, he's like, just call my dad. Wank. <laughs> but but so he said to him, so he said to him, have you got a bike? He's like, aye, aye, I've got a bike. He's like, get on your bike, get your ass to hand right now. We'll sort, what he said, we'll sort that in Brooklyn. He's like, all right. He says, I tell you one thing, but don't think you can be pulling skins about having this. <laughs> Did the boy go? I he went up and he was oh asking for his hand See the thing, mate, right? people hear stories like that and like, think, all oh, right, but it's just a laugh. Like, he's, oh, he was obviously like, do you make sure the boy? By the way, he was just a young boy, but he loved getting involved in all that, aren't he? So they go get him fucking shot. After I've told the prank, when I got pranked, it was fucking. I live next door. Five of those summer players all live next door to each other. Aye. And one night my phone rang and it was like, pretend to be a reporter. All right, Kev. It's um, fucking somebody from the, the Newcastle Chronicle. We just want to talk about the manager. He's under pressure. He's going to get sacked. What was your thoughts? And I said, like, no, he's obviously doing all right and all that. It was a fucking two players next door. <laughs> next door. And I was like, they come in the next day and says, what are you hitting about the manager getting the sack, Kev? And I was like, I don't know. See, we were telling the Newcastle Chronicle last night. I was like, 
Oh, did he know that? Did that know? Do you know what I mean? That happened to uh, France and Daza? With Angels? Aye. Mind that, right. the, the, you, you had the agent? Aye, it was the agent. That's right. Aye, agent, um, he said he wanted no, to leave. Sell, it was a Celtic, Celtic fan. And he said he wanted to leave. Do you remember leave? that? Aye, he said, I'm going to get you a big move. You just signed with Angels on the bank. about 10 grand a week. And he phoned up France and Dazzle about six weeks into the contract and says, Hi, Fran, it's, um, I see you're not doing well at the Angels on now. He says, I've got a chance of getting you a move abroad to some other team for X amounts of money. He says, Do you want me to try and sort the deal out in France and Dazzle? Phil Hook laying a sickle for it and then that was kind of the end of France and Daz at the end of that because as you say he was like I want to go I'm getting this much a week and all that and then the guy ended up winning that that is obviously it's not the phone to go in that Montgomery Chef United told me he got a small region he was fuming he was wanting to kill him but it's not they had him up measuring his neck and all that <laughs> yeah, asking him, I don't measure the United Habit, you get your for a suit. He's, he's asking him what size of tie are you? <laughs> he was the one. He was ready, he wanted to he wanted to kill someone. Do you remember the one of the worst pranks was do you remember the guy at Clyde? Who? Ian. Oh my god. I said that's a disgrace. That's that's shocking. It's quite see at that time obviously at Livingston was Jim Leishman your manager, mate? Ah, he was you a, loved him, didn't you? Ah, he signed me. Brilliant guy. How was the story your, was the story your dad and you went into his office? That's brilliant, that just clicked into my that head. Was a good, that was well remembered. Nah, I mean, you went into his yeah, office when I was signing, right? And he was like talking. So you were just a young boy then? I was just a young boy, seventeen, just signed for Hammond. And we just got me and my dad and he's like just talking away, by the way, just like shout random figures, like, like, turn a 50, turn a 50, you know what? My, my dad's just like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> right? But three years, three years, three years, right? Right, they would just be sitting, walking away, by the way, but he was done Everton at that club at the time. He was in, he would direct the traffic in for games and all that, and then go out and do the team talk. Just, just loved it. Okay, got it, got that now. So he's like, what are you doing, son? I was like, 17, he's like, that. Two minutes, disappears, he's back, he's like that. Was it? Like that. A clip now when he played for Dunfermline against Rangers, scored like 17. That's what I done with 17. Scored like the Rangers, scored like the Rangers. Yeah, 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 just came for Hamilton, you know. He's like, all oh, right, uh, by the way, we kind of pay, pay a fee for you. Nice. He's like, all right, 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 he was just like, I just trusted him to, Aye, he he did, to be fair, he did. But you did, you loved him, Scott, he did. Aye, I, thought he was, I thought he was brilliant. He just, did he ever start to see like you a bit? Would he struggle with your sort of personality? Or, no, he loved, he loved, he loved, he loved all that. So when we were talking about earlier, maybe coaches struggle with that, mm. sort of, both the schemes or whatever Aye, it is, Aye. he loved that type of mechanic. Like, I was just, I was the same through it all. I was always like, just had a bit of banter about <laughs> me and had a wee bit about me and he loved all that. So he was in his course of it. He was just like, no matter what, like, right, Scotty, so what's happening? Was you meet up to the weekend and just just wanted me in with all the boys, just getting about a part. What year was that? 2001. Two. One, two. Is that not the year they finished third? Aye. Were you there that season, aye? Aye, yeah, it was my first season. That's one. unbelievable. What was that like then? What was, what was the team like? Good. Hi, I'm assuming it was. Are you tired of you struggling? No, we did a great team. See, look, we brought one gold, load of Spanish boys. You brought one, weren't you? I was king. King was the best ever, by the way. Used to set wheelie bins up in half wheelie and you just fire it right in. Fire them. Never fired them right in, Slaney. So no, we both. That's that man, Ronald. Did you have the other one, Anna? Fernandez, Scotty. Mide Fernandez. Wow, wow, by the way, he was way. unbelievable. Still don't get moved to Celtic. He did get moved to Celtic. I was thinking. Million quid to Celtic, and then he ended up coming back on loan to us. Uh, I think was like so successful at that time. I said, finished third, and then in Europe next season, then we won the League Cup. Aye. After that, but and we did come back on loan. Yeah. Unbelievable ability. Like that. I mean, you played Aye, in that game. Come on, look, one of, he was one of the best striker partners I had. Was he? Ah, he was just. Well, it's, it's not a comparison, right? And don't take it this way. He was a bit like Salah, you just couldn't get the ball off him. Mm. Except he hated scores. He hated scores. He just wanted to dribble by every He scored three back, goals every back. season. Uh, I mean, why have you checked his record? I think he's got like maybe 400 games and 40 goals. I mean, Derek Lally scored 16 goals that season in the Premier League, and I think we did upset okay, everyone. I just, uh, does he know? Did he not play with like Deportivo on that? And no, that's right. when Deportivo were actually a proper uh, team. How bad is it team? I think it was like the UEFA Cup, they go to the same thing when he was in the was squad. In that, that is unbelievable. Amazing. But I, we see back then, like, teams like Levy, Dundee, that had pure can he unreal, 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 unreal squads. We, we signed the boy Guillermo Amor, who was the captain of Barcelona. What? Yeah. He was captain of Barcelona, he came and played like three games. 
Falava isso, falava que estava a Já me ajudou a dizer. Já me ajudou a Já me ajudou a dizer. 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 Já me Sorry, <laughs> Marvin Andrews, Scotty, were you uh, living still with him as well? Yes, I was at Loving with Big Marv. What a exact guy. same. You used to know that. Before he went to, I did, I was just talking to you. Just before he went to Rangers. Big Marv was just some character. He was the same all the way through his career. Just the happiest guy ever. Loved he'd done the ball. I remember, I remember see, if, see if at Andy, see if like, he's obsessed with stats and all that right now. See for assists. Mm -hmm. Marv was just a dream because you would just look as if you're putting an unbelievable corner in. All you had to do was just throw it on. He would just melt it. Melt it right in. But he couldn't he did it down enough. You would need to hit it 30 yards out for him to get a shot on target. Wait, <laughs> see, Jelly, but like, because you were saying about how he was a character, like, see, in a changing room and that, was he like pure unbelievable to have? What would they make everything yes, feel better and stuff like Robbie, sorry, see, Clay, so obviously, if you had to give his mentor or that, uh, remember, like, Marv, that, come on, me, Barry, come on. Come down, Barry. See, what was he at Clay? He's in it, Clay, is he? He's brilliant. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Late for training, late for training, I think that. Fucking move at you! He's like, calm down, man! <laughs> <laughs> All the time, wasn't it? Scotty, and then, um, sorry, I wanted to, you, you touched on a wee minute ago, your cup final you won against Hibs. Is yeah. that the, one of the best days in your career, or your best day? Ah, it was definitely one of my best. Uh, to be fair, I didn't really appreciate it at the time. Because I was 20 year old, you think this is going to happen all the time. Career, but aye. that was the biggest thing that happened. My career was winning that. I, I said, you didn't appreciate it, but how did the game go again, score wise? I didn't know. 2 0. 2 0. Is it? Did you start or you came on, didn't you? I came on as a sub. Uh, Derek Lally scored and then Jim McCarthy, who's the first manager at Hibs now. Brilliant guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he scored, we scored two. We get barred first half, hung in there, and then we scored two, like, first 10 minutes of the second half. And Amazing. And the thing is that that. Was a really good Hibs team as well, wasn't it? Aye, That's the like one that Brown, Brown Thompson, Thompson, Gary Caldwell, like Wilder, yeah. then O'Connor. Because that was like when Scott Brown was like a wing on that, wasn't it? Aye, Scott yeah. Brown was... He played on the wing? So good. Hey, see if you ever watched the game back. I don't know who Brownie stayed in the It's the same guy. No, but I don't know who oh, stayed right. in the park. He was just the most he said. We read right good football players like Burton O'Brien, uh -huh. Lee Mako. Uh, is that uh, like that. Lovell? Sure level, sure level was, was some player, right? Anyway, what a life peg, Bob. Yeah, I remember him at 21s, he was very, very cultured, man. Nah, he was. Do you know what his problem was? He, was, he grew up in the Rang, rang he country. Not, was he not Blackburn? Aye, but see if he was like, see if he played in Holland aye. or something like that. Think so, aye, aye that man. good. If you want Wilder, they would have. Aye, maybe had some, some players, eh, when you think about it. Aye, but sure level was a brilliant team, the best captain ever. Ever played on him? I see, I What is it? Was it? Was it just me, the boys, and make sure you were alright? Like, see, just like dealing with the board and things like that. Something like Always it. protecting all the boys. That's a captain like, for you. Aye, had Everton. Very oh, diplomatic. Aye, aye, he was good, but like he, he worked in the PFA. He was the perfect guy that worked in the PFA because he was, he was always about all the players, so I knew he would do well. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's something, aye. Right, on you go, on you go, aye. Right. So, was your we'll first season? Was your first season the season they finished third? Uh, aye, aye. And then, so then that was the season after they were in Europe. So did you play in Europe with them, aye? Because they get played. through the first round, didn't they? Fuck. I beat Vadoos and then ended up playing some Stum Grats. Grats. It was, by the way, it was just, Lovey were just constantly on you up. That's crazy. And then obviously when in the administration, you just shit out the fan. Aye. And so what happened with the administration? Was that just overspending? Aye. We were in the midst of it. guys or something? No, or was that, that was later on, dude. Was that the administration? Are you not on it? Fucking Sadie Livingston. You spent all these matches out in danger or not? Dominic Keane. He probably just made a new search and Andy, didn't he? Dominic Keane was the chairman. And I said, when we won the League Cup, we were in administration. We went into administration the night of the the day the semi final. We ended up beating Dundee 1 0. Did it, let's go the penalty last minute. And we were in administration that day. So boys were losing their jobs. Like, boys, you were never. How do you know you said you said in there Dominic Keane is a keen? Aye. How did I know that name? Was he, was he somebody with Celtic's board? Aye, I think he was, I think that was years before that. I think he, I played golf with him in Saturday. Aye, aye. <laughs> 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 I, just, I just remember that name, I think. He was the chairman and then... Him and a guy, Kelly, I don't know. So he, was, he was a manager. So you used to get told then, Scotty, that he's were, he's were in administration, aye, but what, what, what were the boys actually like in that? that? What were the boys saying to themselves? Well, because it was, see, see, boys were just like, there was boys from Spain and they just had to leave the club, you'd never yep. see them again. 
That's we we Dave, we Dave, we Dave Fernandez was was in tears because his best mate was we boy Francisco Kino. He was away back to Spain and never. <laughs> never see him again. Never <laughs> see him. Dave's an emotional guy. Aye, but but Dave, do you know what Dave? Dave done, but Dave. David Dunn? He paid what he paid out his end pocket to keep one of the boys, oh, the boy, no, Fernando mate. Pasquinelli, eh? Would you ever do that? Never. Never, <laughs> never mate. Never do that. Wait, so see when you were there with administration stuff, is that was like staff and all that getting laid off as well? Like, Aye, reception young boys as well. Like, he, he thought young boys would have been protected because they were new on a lot of money, but they would maybe have two or three year contracts, so they just get binned. Aye. Lost other two. What was the... Because I'm sure in about did Loving Oak can have like no bad attendances and all that kind of stuff in as well. I remember oh, going yeah. to see the one I said with, with Snodgrass. I mean, it being a midweek game, I mean, it could be totally fucking wrong here. But I mean, it being a midweek game, it might have been two each. Two each, Snodgrass scored, scored two. Aye, Varis was Ingles. Aye, that's right. And I remember, but I remember it being like a big crowd, like almost full. And no, just like as now where Rangers have to three stands. I'm pretty sure Rangers had maybe one and a half mm-hmm. in the rest of its row. But now, obviously, it's. No. But I don't know if it's all the administration stuff in that. 2005 or 6 Paul Lambert was my last manager did you, did you play for, sorry, sorry. Uh, did you play when Coventry came up pre-season no I think so I think I remember playing against McPay would he have been there 2006 aye he would have been, he'd have still been there but James was on my youth team and he was a striker aye. I don't know who made him a striker he was never a striker <laughs> he was rapid and then he eventually had a brilliant career playing aye. Aye. a great guy isn't he Lovely guy. See, we, we Paul Lambert's got, he loved looking at the ceiling during team talks, didn't he? <laughs> he did. What was that all about, that? I remember. Lambo. <laughs> what was that all about? Anyway, no joke. So, Lambo would be getting a team talk and he would say, oh, you always did this awkward thing with his finger where you go, it's like that. Right? So, I was like, I didn't know what that means, but okay. Paul Lambert, you've only got to pick up, I'll just listen to him. So, he'd go like that, say he was talking to Celine, like, Celine, you were right, pal. He'd go like that. I don't think he's on the roof, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but that was his first, first, <laughs> first job, so he was obviously, he was obviously learning, but he was just a wee bit. Did you get on with him? I, I, I thought he was a, I thought he was a good guy. Put in my position. Just was down the ceiling. Was <laughs> just weird. like, <laughs> just <laughs> tried to do that. And I just couldn't do it. What about big, um, great big guy and all, Richard Goff? How did you get on with him? Big Goffy. I didn't go. I did, <laughs> didn't. Didn't go on with him. John Goffy. No, what was he like? He looked at the flare. No, <laughs> no, he looked at himself. He looked at no, the he loved himself, didn't he? Loved by the way. Did he not get him relegated? No, that him? No, no they stayed up in the last. Nah, that was Ryan. That was Ryan, aye. Aye, you're right, sir. Don't jump in. I became a Rangers fan then. I was a lovely fan. I was a lovely fan. I was a lovely fan. But he would walk about with his tap off all the time. Just loved his shell, big coffee. Have you? What was he like with the boys? That was a bit bit arrogant. I loved his shell. Archie Knox was assistant. Archie Knox was a guy. What a guy. He's, he's a skinny man. Oh, he's got to be up there, one of the skinny. Like, he's think, a brilliant guy. I know one that of the he best is, things ever. But he's skinny. He's got to be a football capacity. So you do your body fat. Isn't that right? So we've all got a body fat. Everybody was all right. But Snoddy's body fat was quite high, right? So we walked in the wall and I just came up. I was like, Morning, Archie. He's like, Morning. Snoddy's come in at the back of me and went like, Archie! Archie's like, You are fat. Sounds like, Alright, didn't know what he When did you? Did you have, was there a coach for you? Uh, Mullet Hammond Wee Craig Brown came in. Oh, and it was brilliant because, uh, 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 fuck it, what is rhyming my, that's because you're asking me questions, you're putting me ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me lost off, it was unnecessary. No, sorry, uh, Mullet Hammond Wee Craig Brown and Arch Knox came in. Mullet made a big deal about me going and sort of, it became a wee bit toxic between me and the club. And now, so it was, there was, it just wasn't a nice at the time and I always remember Arch Knox coming up to me and just saying, listen, you do your best on it. And it was a brilliant touch, do you know what I mean? Like, Aye. they all know happened. We got to Celtic or uh, whatever it was, but he was the one that came out there and done it. I mean, what, what a guy he Aye, is. When did you have him? I, I didn't have him. I was on a way on a Scotland trip. I remember you telling me a story. Right. I was away on a Scotland trip with the, the 21s and we and were you like... You the vodka, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> and something happened and Archie pulled me up afterwards before we got on the plane. Basically, I was just standing there, maybe was speaking to me because of what I did. And he just came up and grabbed me by the ear and pulled me towards him and says, Who are you? And he dragged me really close to him and Bruni. Then we tell you, son, I'll play for this country again. What? Is that what he said, Matt? He says, I'll play for this country again. What? And he was like, <laughs> she was scary. I was like, was pure and I was just, no, no, no. He, he, he was absolutely 100% right when he said it. Aye, he's perfect, aye. So, uh, <laughs> he's playing on the spot. 
Oh, it took me two, I got two years back in, but that's all we were fucking struggling. So that's how desperate we got when they right. brought me back in. But I was on the verge of actually getting in the Scotland team no long after they came back for the, like, the World Cup. I remember we caught the Scotland play pre season. We played, opened up Hamilton Stadium, which would have been 2000. And you ran the show there? Aye, and Craig Brown, aye. Craig Brown put in an oh, article you? in the paper that Monday and says, they went, to, they went to the Milk Cup and he says, I went to the Milk Cup just to watch the kids and I'm really close to picking the big guy for Sunderland for Brilliant. the national team. I was only 19, I think, even before I made my debut. Mm. And then Craig Brown got the sack and whatever, then boy. But that was it. I, I, obviously, I'll tell that story another time, but that's it. He pulled me. He loved me for this country again, son. You've let your cell down, you've let your country down, you've let your family down, you've let everybody down. And I swear to God, I've never... I sat in that plane back from Poland or Iceland, whatever it was. Nobody <laughs> sat beside me. Nobody sat beside me. I was sat there on my lonesome and I felt like no, I, I just wanted like I wanted the world to swallow me up. I just I lost that. Oh, especially honestly, that game. Yeah, that's not good at all. Especially yeah, you're, you're saying it's got a big reputation. It's scary as fuck. Well, yeah. But see hanging with Archie, right? He he coached with Walter Smith, coached with Sir Alex Aye. Ferguson. But see see his training. His training was brilliant, but it was just simple. He would just, your warm up would be here to tennis, you get into boxes, you back across and finishing, shooting, and then games. Yeah. Isn't Danny always overcomplicate it? But it's, see now, <clears throat> boys overcomplicate mm-hmm. their training session just for the sake of it. Yeah. They make it about them, whereas. Do you think nowadays do players expect that though for, for coaches, or do you think players would prefer just to keep it? It's more simple. Do you think players nowadays probably. Surely, in coaching, surely in coaching, you, you, you've got to always relay what you're trying to do on a Saturday in some capacity. So, like, keep ball sessions, uh-huh. boxes. It seems not like a novelty. Mm-hmm. But what you're doing, your fundamental is keeping the ball. Exactly. Right. Then you go into a game. Again, natural. you're keeping the ball. You've done crossing and finishing because you're trying to score goals. Yep. As long as it's related to what you're trying to do on a Saturday, but you're keeping the players amused. Because of, I'm pretty sure saying you use at Broomhill now. I've watched your training. There's none of them will be moaning about the training you do. The training's unreal. I, I watched it with a guy one night, and he says, "Kevin, is that is that the level of intensity at a, like a, a Premier League club that you've been at?" Mm-hmm. I says, "They box is how fast I'm moving." But he says, "I probably." Yeah. And it really is how I says, "I he says, okay, yeah. that's impressive." But people don't, until you go and see that level, aye, aye, aye. you don't really think, oh, wow. Aye. But I always just think that as, as long as you're able, mm-hmm. and I think that's where we struggled at air, because we were struggling as a team, our training got changed all the time. We try different things to try and get, mm-hmm. just keep doing the fundamentals and get everybody aye. to do the fundamentals right. Aye, but when Andy was in charge, and Andy, Andy was brilliant. Brilliant. Just, everybody loved it, but he would, he would do... Who was that? Andy, Andy Mellon. Mellon. His right. training, he's got a book... See, and I've been like his book of drills are amazing. Aye. Like worth going and speaking to him like he's Aye, definitely. Like, like, oh. But he wouldn't see 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 if he did a passenger, see if passenger was kinda alright and then some managers you'd been it. Mm-hmm. He would do it again, see if you were training on the shoes, he'd do it again the Thursday because he wanted it to get better. Aye. See tell your master that 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 passing job, then he'd move on to the next that shows That shows confidence and belief in what you started doing. Exactly. You can see some things if you did, if I feel as a coach, maybe they had drill and just say, that's, that, that's not working. I'm like, well, you obviously didn't believe that that was going to help them because that's the mm. whole point of doing it. But mm. as you say, like, I've, the thing we like different. So I've obviously done it for a year, but now played for it all my life. But went to watch kind of a couple of clubs and that and see what you realise. See if you go and watch a, a sort of top team train. You, you soon realise everybody's kind of doing the same, same things. things it's just how they deliver it's maybe a wee bit different yep. and intensity is the biggest thing see if you if everybody is treating the drill properly then that makes all the difference boxes for example bus one of the boxes you know however however many times a week but somebody might walk past an amateur team seeing them do boxes and think that looks shit but it's just however you take I it I always found that in training in any drill that anybody ever did as long as they were able to put their input in and explain what went wrong and why it went wrong. Mm-hmm. Whereas I think sometimes now with young coaches is they'll go on their phone and they'll go into football DNA app or whatever it is. <laughs> so easy and that. they'll rock up when they'll do the, the, the they'll do the Barcelona drill or the Man City drill. And they'll set all the cones up accordingly. So they don't know how to coach the drill. Aye. So when it's not working they're like how the fuck's this not working? Like you maybe set up the organisation it but how do you deliver it? So they talk about coaches Gordon Dale with me, remember? <laughs> oh my word. That was that one, what was he like, Paul? Uh, uh, well, he's actually a brilliant guy. Good guy he man. actually really, I mean, but we went to Mean Scotty, Paddy Boyle, um, Gordon Dale. We'd done a coaching thing for Clyde aye, One minute, aye, coaching for kids aye. or something like that. So we'd done it, so I've turned up and it was Monday to Friday. So I've turned up, I think it was like, what, was that five minutes later or something? Because by the time I came in, Gordon no, Dale, you were in the motor with me and I was like, I'll make sure it's me and you, Slaney. 
me and you and Paddy will go away, <laughs> go on there, right? So then we turned up onto the pitch. And uh, I was like, right, who's with me? I was like, actually, no. It's shocking. It was never going to be anything else, was it? Mate, every day I turned up and went like, give me the amateur one of small and pal for you. Aye. So he'd done that, right? So he's doing a session, say, with, with 16 uh, kids or whatever, right? Halfway through the kids and they'll get a fucking clue. Yeah. What's going on, right? He'd be like, absolutely, boy, take over and I'll wait for a cup yeah. of tea. <laughs> Why not? Midnight at all, you just see him just marching in and he's got a tea. He's like, absolutely, boy. Get that finished. Mate, that was a, he was manager at Glenafton for a bit. Oh, and I spoke, I, I spoke to a couple of guys that played for him and I was like, how busy? And to be fair, he said, I brand new, look, but sometimes during the game, he'd just go on for a pint. I used to do that. Like, like, no he used to point like that, didn't he? Like, Slinning boy, you can out there, you can out there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up his fingers and then one lunch, I've, I've been picking stuff up, I'm finishing one of his drills and they're all finished. So I've walked there and uh, he's like, Slinning boy, you into the karate? <laughs> So when I was picking him up, they've, him and Paddy have told God Dill, I don't crack every day. Yeah. Wasn't he? Uh, he was letting me, what belt are you on now? <laughs> now fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> Dill. He's like, red tip. <laughs> <laughs> but what a guy God Dill and another unbelievable guy, a, a real close pal of uh, Earl Scotty, Andy McLaren. He played with him and was that the first time you, you came across each other, Scotty? I played against each other, like, um, he was at United and he's just some he's mental, wasn't he? Oh, mate, but what a laugh, man. What a laugh. What was the one, the, my favourite one he told us is the one in Morton with the, with the, with the, the boy. No, that one, but the one with the chairman with the phone. The silver phone. Ah, it's just mad. Phone, phone. F-O-N-G. Aye. Phone, good. Aye. Phone, good. Aye. So, Aye. Phone, Aye. Jim McNally was mad at the time at Morton. So he's, he's getting the team talk. And I mean, he's sitting next to me, he's like, can you see this, Colin? Can you see this? Can you see this? Wow. I like, just did his team talk when he came down on the way and then just wait, just wait. So then Jimmy's done his team talk, he's like, right Andy, take it away. And he jumped up in the physio bed, pulled his shorts down, he's got a shiny silver phone. <laughs> <laughs> right? But he starts, starts dancing on the physio bed. Party boy, what? He's like, the party boy, I <laughs> Starts dancing on the physio bed, right? But the wee chairman used to come in for the team talks. <laughs> no way, he's just on there. And he's sitting there and Andy's like, ah, all right, Chairman, do you want your old job back? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, guys, guys. But the man with the wee Aussie boy. Was, a, uh, was a belt. The wee guy, Johnny Misano, he played with Morton for like four years, but a like club legend. And mm. it was his last game, so he's sitting there like in tears, towel over, he's teething on that. Nobody wanted to speak to him. I was just like, ah, yeah, wee Johnny's a wee bit emotional. Man. So Andy's bounced at the shower. And he's like, he's sure, ball naked. He's like, slaps and he's like, don't worry about it, Johnny. At least you can tell your granny when she played with Andy McClellan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's class, oh, man. Oh, guys, Scotty, that shows you he's about done, mate, but what I forgot to talk about in the early days, he'd been completely blank when we were there. The Newcastle trip, which is famous now for the haircut and all that, but Aye. you were part of that trip, mate, weren't you? Oh, what a trip. That was when you were like, he was like, I'm going to get a haircut, I'm going to get a haircut. I'm going to get a haircut. Took me for us, were you? Took me half for us. the world oh, famous. <laughs> what the world famous here, cut me. Oh, 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 Can you remember yeah, when me for us? Oh, this is unbelievable. Me for us and Robbie were in, they were in the room together with, you know, Peter Murphy, he fought his manager, uh, Annan. Uh, Annan. Right. right, Murph. By the way, he was a right good player in all, Murph. Cracking right? boy. He's funny as fuck, wasn't he? Barrow laughs that boy. By the way, so, so, so straight laced. Remember the last quarter where the warm up? He took the warm up. And I would like to nick you this one. I'm still shaking the hairdish. <laughs> no, but he punched you in the ribs, didn't he? I fucking got cracked his light in the ribs. Uh, uh, yeah, I no, but we, so we, so we, so we knew he was like dead, dead serious. So I was in the rooms and I stitched up wee Forrest and Robin. I put Murph in the room with him, right? So anyway, they, they were up on the uh, Sunday. They were all fucking wee bit, wee bit merry with the jungle juice. <laughs> and um, he's like, ah, he's, they're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna have Murph. Murph used to always say, like, hey, let's get a couple of passes in. Get a couple of passes in, right? <laughs> so they'll take the piss at him. They're like, oh, wait, Murph, get a couple of passes in. Yeah. Like, Who sits up for the bed when they're taking the piss at him? Murph. Murph's like, maybe he's in the same room as him. I'm like, you better shut the fuck up. He <laughs> <laughs> shut that cell, didn't he? Mm-hmm. That about boy, was he? Oh, he's fucking. No, basically, he's a big boy. No, even just. Fucking. By the way, Crawford, you talk Robbie Crawford, by the way. A quick one with Robbie Crawford. I remember we were doing, we were doing pre season, right? At Irvin Beach. I'll run up the sand dunes. So you'd run up a sand dune, it's fucking hard as fuck. Do a big run run and you end up going back and you end up doing a couple of laps for like time. So I was right right in front of the group, charging on and I was running down. I just called them. I was like, what the fuck is going on there? 
virou o bicho, virou o bicho lá. Lá vimos lá, que era o cobre, e nós dois pastos. Miguel, me sai, me sai, me sai, me sai, faz os gols na cobre, e me sai. Ai, me... Oi, já chique. Oi, já vai ser. Eu vi também, nem ti. Oi, vai, nice to me. Sim, não, me já faz, isso é. No, 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 He was great on the ball, but he never, he just always turned into people. Aye, he, he did had like assists and goals, he's got, aye, aye. he did, eventually did. And then he did, aye, we, we and obviously the year after, and then the year they got promoted. Aye. That's when then got him a move to, was it Levy? I think it first went to Levy. And then done without Levy and got a move to Motherwell, and mm-hmm. he's done like a decent wage at Motherwell, aye. and then now he's been part of that, just aye, shows aye. you how fit Motherwell. He's a great lad, we know about the fair him. Remember the young, the young goal later, where Ian McCall's like, listen, Ian McCall's just come in, he's like, listen, for you've been beat, whatever it is in the bounce, standards need to get fucking high in training or that. Remember the young goalkeeper that was in at the training? Where oh, he was what's the Wally? By the way, so, like, standards needs to be high, so, big nervous Northern wouldn't he? Oh. <laughs> <It was just, laughs> So right away McCall's got everybody, he's got the ball in his hands, he's got like that to chuck the ball, but like kinda of try to hold on it, it's like slug it in his head now. And then ran into the post, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> I'm one of the next time it often let it go to the ball. Then somebody pressed him right, somebody runs right up to him, he tries to do a cross turn by him, but he cross turns it, fucks it right after post and goes right in the net, then it <laughs> Unbelievable. Remember him at the end but if, so you come in, he's on there, but sticking and he calls him that. Right, eh, uh, good session, that uh, boy. He's well had, he's well had. That can't happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he McCall? Wait, I felt he's brand new. Obviously, I saw him when I was there, a lot of guys spoke highly of him. Nice, alright. I don't know, by the way, speaking of goals, this is. How's your fitness come along? Trained twice last week. Uh, Playing the night in the bounce game, yeah, um, felt really good. I actually, actually love the training uh-huh. last week because remember when I was playing like the five you did early stage of training, I felt miles after last week. I felt as good as I could, no, no, as good as I could get, but I felt proper sharp. So uh-huh. no far away now, mate. So what do you see as a as a process? I don't think you're, you're obviously not going to put a timeline on it or anything like that. But well, is I that a case of continually training up to it, or is it just when needed? I think very very soon it'll be on the bench, and then right. it's up to obviously side then to put him on the way. If he oh, wants to, he'll never ever put his own. Are back. you the game tonight? Aye, aye, what the, the training game? Aye. aye, aye, so your boys are going to join in. God damn it. I'm going to come and watch it. So. I'm going to, I'm going to I think it's, um, but it's a mere stop start. Aye, uh, no, it doesn't matter, I can still come up with stops it for 90 minutes. <laughs> 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 I'm coming to see this guy. Aye. Easy. Well, I'm sure I'm playing on Squire. Easy. Unbelievable. I'm going to come and see this guy tonight. How, see, generally, you played with him. How was he as a player? Very good. Aye. Honestly, see. But what kind of player was he? Who could you compare him to? Who could you compare him to? Similar to? And his pomp, Jimmy when, Johnson, wasn't it? No, that's what you look like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you didn't rate me, Jimmy Johnson, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't, I don't know how I can put him, but Kaka. Slim, yes. <laughs> <laughs> see, the, see the thing is with Kaka, right? Kaka could change direction very quickly. Like, with the slow down. That's what Slaney was like. Slaney would, would go that, that way and he'd quickly check that way with it. And then Fodgy went to Somebody said that yesterday. Somebody said that yesterday on the podcast. I don't know what maybe Sai said. Said that he could change direction without actually doing a skill. Aye, that's what, that, that's what I always noticed about you. Like, you maybe know throw a, throw a trick in there, but he could change direction so quick. Then I need to. At the same at the same pace as he's gone at and he, you wouldn't oh, even like the Don't think any player in the world can do it. Very sharp. No, fuck that. No, no, it's a dying art. No any better. You've seen that. Is that a safety uh, trip? Wait. <laughs> So can we no, talk about this the era care. and the story behind this terrible picture here? No, well, that, that's a, a, a fans came up to us and it's an amazing wee gesture. Man, for the came up to us after the game, he's got a boy and he... Stephen. Because you thought you were Stephen Jones. <laughs> 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 it's got a boy just the end. <laughs> yeah, but right, by the way. Aye, sorry. Put Mel there. No, no, that's, no. Deb- that's your debut. Is it? Unbelievable. Put Mel there. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was right after the, the crosses from Aubrey. <laughs> <That's laughs> look, look at the cuffs. Oh my <laughs> 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 hey, that look, at the, look at the cuffs in them, by the way. That was the mall and after Amsterdam, we had to get the speed there. Can you get a dash jumper on there? No, it's a shocker. So, sorry, Scott, just the end it, mate. Who would you say 
put all the teammates you played with was uh, yeah, the funniest, craziest, always your favourite teammate, whatever. Just the end of the high note. One of my favourites, you know, Matty Flynn. Oh, legend. What Matty. an embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> Matty don't see that, I hate the boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Matty, I loved Matty, I played with Matty yet. Yeah. Clyde and he'd have been running with Fergie, did he? He had a runner with Fergie, aye. He could want to tell that tale. Aye, Matty could, uh, Matty could handle himself. Aye, 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 he definitely can. But, uh, <laughs> brilliant teammate, such a laugh, but good player as well and trained hard. We went on a wee holiday or didn't we? We did, we did. We did. We did. We did. And Matty was a freak level. <laughs> Nobody put that hat on, I just never took it off. <laughs> Slady this, Slady this shirt. Slady, you're carrying about a timber at time now. Tits. <laughs> Change days, change days. Right. So we ended up ripping his shirt right off him. But we, remember the way I turned up at the airport? Right. Dressed as Tony Bell, you weren't you? Tony Bell, you, but I didn't have any clothes with me for four days. I oh had a wee God, light travel, weren't you? I had a wee, brief, <laughs> had a wee briefcase full of you had three t shirts. Johnny's on it. Johnny's on it. Johnny's on it. I don't know, they do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Matty, Matty, Matty we, me and Matty ripped that shirt off you, didn't he? But I hate you. Five foot seven. <laughs> anyway, large. <laughs> Five foot large. <laughs> oh, what a time. He's been unbelievable. Oh, what a legend, man. What a man. Hello, Kev, Robbie. Who, yep. who are we fancying for next? Next week? For our next guest? Who for anybody up? Kevin Jane. You've been a very game all the time. I think Kev's a good shout. Ah, Kev's a good shout. Just because, because obviously I'm trying to keep it low in the junior. I'll try to keep it low in the junior, so we need somebody to go in and then say, I see that's funny. Right boys, we're on to pick 10, I'll go through the games, as I do every week. Go down the board, and we'll see who's going to be the winner. Are we ready to go, Robbie? We'll start with you. Yeah. Here we go. Hibernian Rangers. Rangers. Scotty? Rangers. Rangers. I'll go with... Rangers. Rangers. <laughs> Are both Queen's Park? Draw. Are both. Are both. I'll go Queen's Park. Cove Rangers versus Air United. Oh, you're mad for Cove. I know you're going to say that you love Cove, and I don't know what it's all about. Draw. Draw. Cove. Cove. Um, I want to hear it one more. Aye. You're an honest man. Steelman. That's my love, isn't it? Aye. <laughs> 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 smash you. <laughs> I'll go with. Uh, that's a draw written over the cards. Dundee and ITV St. Mirren. You love St. Mirren. You got St. Mirren games, don't you? Always oh, there. Did you do agency work as well, Scotty? Didn't you? Aye. We'll talk about it in a wee minute, but so we want to do Dundee United St. Mirren. Dundee United. Synonym. Draw. Draw. Jack Ross has been brilliant recently. Dundee United. Um, we'll go <laughs> next. Greenock Morton versus Dundee. Say that again. Greenock Morton against Dundee. Dundee. They won it. The league. Do think so? Aye. I think it'll be a stuffy game. Pets more. They sit on the fence, aren't they? No, I think Dundee will win that. I think it'll be Dundee. Aye, uh, we do. Yemen's no started as well as he finished last season, didn't he? No? How's your number one? Aye. 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 Me and Chris take a joint now. Hamilton versus Rafe Rovers. Hamilton. For Derek Felsen. Hamilton. Hamilton, aye. Who's in it, Hamilton, if you don't mind me asking? Who's in it, John Rankin. Rankin. Is there it? you go. Squiggler. John Rankin, I'll go. Oh, Scored it recently, didn't he? Aye. John Rankin. Okay, Stevie Hamilton against Martindale. Mother of Livingston. Ooh. It's a good it's a bad game of football, isn't it? Mother of Oh, no, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Disappointing. We'll see how the fans react to that. Horrible. <laughs> 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 well, uh, draw. I think we'll have you. It's a draw right away, that. Ross County, come on, look. Kelly. That's a tough game, isn't it? Kelly. Ross County. Draw. Ross County, aye. St Johnston, Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Draw. Aberdeen. Aberdeen. And last but not least, Leeds. Uh, Leeds. Leeds. <laughs> Leeds. 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 Uh, but Hearts are playing on Thursday night, aren't they? Ah, so maybe that tough. could be difficult. You're not banging both. No, nah, no, mate. I'm not. I'm <laughs> poorly. That's poorly for me. Definitely the champions. Yes. Celtic. <laughs> yeah, Celtic for me as well. And then that's us finished, boy. <laughs> Good show, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, boy, you've been so fucking terrible. I'm not finishing that. No way. Listen, boys, it's been unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. You've been 5 out of 10. Nah, I'm being great. 8 out of 10, Scotty. <laughs> and... Beautiful. Seven out of ten. <laughs> well, you've been outstanding. You really have. So um, be more class. Paul, I, I want to say something before we go. I liked how you've started the show this week. 
with your wee cocky jokes and that. Dad's all right. He's on the front foot, isn't he? You know why he's doing that? He's copying his mate's eye. He? He, well, he, he got a bit of grief he saw yesterday about his wee podcast. Oh, he says. Yeah. So <laughs> he stepped <laughs> up, he stepped yeah. up, and he was. We're taking, we're taking over, mate, aren't we? Yeah. We're, we're taking over. Kev, having been with him, how do you think to compare us, host? Oh, he's easy to speak to because he looks at you. Ah, oh, I like that. Sai si, 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 si looks at me, right? But I realise there's a fucking mirror behind me. <laughs> that right, is right. always in the phone, isn't it? Oh, we call it there, boys. Aye. It's been an absolute honour, boys. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.